My story corpor about corporate America is no way unique. I've been doing pretty well, uh, well for the past 20 years, working for a, a, a Fortune 500 company. Uh, I've uh, been a product of a private school and uh, an Ivy League university, and it was no surprise that I I um, ended up in the six uh, in the six figure club. Are working as a senior executive, senior executive, and climbing to the top of a career at a steady pace. At a steady, steady pace, it seems like my rock ship, rock ship um, uh, to uh, success was uh, stoppable, un unstoppable. Uh, however, here I am standing in a corridor of building uh, in a corridor uh, in the corridor of my office building holding a pink slip uh, I uh, was handed a couple of minutes uh, ago from by my boss he uh, I was asked to come back uh, and uh, he told me that um, uh, he told me we, to to discuss uh, sorry he said to break you uh, but your contract is terminate and um, half of the department that you are running uh, will be will uh, be laid off uh, because times are tough now and um, the recession is um, the recession is forcing up to downsize uh, so we could save some extra money. Um, we are all we all have to sacrifice, he said. Don't take it personal, old bastard. I can imagine his sacrifices. The old man can uh, can't afford uh, another Lamborghini, Lamborghini, and has to settle for an um, ordinary Ferrari. Uh, and on uh, uh, on the top of all that, I've got a birthday today. I have a birthday today. Oh, what a blow in back! In the what a blow in the back! Uh, my service is no longer need here. Uh, should I start looking for a new job? Uh, uh, how do I get? back to the market after I was shown um, the door in such a way. Um, so, uh, at least I have a, I have a severance package. Uh, I uh, negotiated my um, way to a golden parachute um, some year, a few years ago. And uh, maybe I can have a vacation and I can save my money in, I could invest some money in, in, uh, I could uh, invest some of the capital in stocks. I, uh, and I haven't been in a vacation and maybe sun and money might heal some, some uh, wounds, might heal some wounds. Uh, I remember when I came, came here, I was looking for a job and I was 26 uh, and uh, I um, sent out uh, hundreds of CVCs and resume, um, resumes and I uh, was interviewed, uh, interviewing several times and a, flu a few employers were, um, were ready to hire me. Uh, but uh, I kept searching for a nicer um, position. One day I uh, uh, was found. No, I uh, now one day I found um, a ma local business magazine, and uh, 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 about uh, a job position. And uh, 
uh, I liked uh, decent pay, uh, good insurance benefits, uh, solid rec ret um, retirement and other perks. Uh, and uh, I applied for the job. And then the next day I had a short interview. I told about my internship and my background. And uh, they said that I am the just right uh, person um, for the position. And, uh, the, uh, and I was hired. Uh, and uh, they said uh, that I had to, to handle their responsibility. Um, and uh, I started to work. I work 24-7. Mm, not literally, but I uh, felt like that. And uh, usually I start my day at 7. Um, at 7. Uh, uh, responding as the most urgent uh, uh, mails. I then I went to work uh, to nine o'clock and w was working from nine to five. Uh, and I um, uh, arranged conference calls. I uh, returned phone calls and organized. Um, presentations and uh, um, business meetings. Uh, I spend uh, evenings in business meetings uh, and uh, apart, uh, apart from that I managed a team 150 people uh, and on now going to lose their jobs mm. and uh, you know uh, I was uh, overworked I was um, exhaustion uh, age I was on the age of exhaustion and uh, my mom was a, a teacher and uh, she also was a um, workaholic and she was worried about me my dad said that uh, if you don't like uh, anything you have to do something uh, and when he was an employee uh, in one company he mm, he uh, organized uh, um, a strike uh, to ma to demand better better working conditions, and uh, and everything was good after that, uh, but uh, and now he is uh, retired and living in Miami. What and he was been uh, working for the factory for his whole life, and uh, made a successful career. Um, but um, uh, I can't organize a strike. Um, and uh, sometimes uh, I felt burned out. Um, once I uh, wanted to give a two-week notice, after my boss was yelling at me in front of other workers uh, for no specific reason, but my wife was on a maternity leaves, uh, leave and uh, resigning wasn't an option. Resigning wasn't an option. Um, uh, I couldn't just stop working and leave my family without any income, incomes. Uh, so I kept working no matter what. Uh, uh, getting dismissed uh, from my uh, from my job after all these years were um, very sad. It's very sad for me, uh, and I don't like my boss. I know that he doesn't like me neither. He he doesn't he like me either. Uh, and 
Maybe I have to tell him about his authoritarian and incompetent and nepotistic um, market management. I'm coming in room and um, lights are on and there was a banner, happy birthday. And my boss said, don't you think that uh, we uh, fire you, Patrick? Um, after that, I turned slowly, turned slowly and uh, left the room. I've never, I had enough, I've had enough and uh, I quit. This time for real.